Hey, it's Leila, and today we're gonna talk about manifesting stuff. I'm a conscious manifesting coach. If you want to have a session with me, one on one, here is the link down below. Anyway, let's start this. So, someone today sent me a page from the power of the subconscious mind, you know, Joseph Murphy. This page was really interesting to me because I didn't remember about this story. Let me just read this page for you. A few months ago, I received a letter from a woman named Roth A. I guess it is the right, correct name. Who had attended my lectures. She wrote, I am 75 years old, a widow with a grown family. I was living alone, on a small pension and social security. My life seemed barren, hopeless. Then I remembered your lecture about the powers of the subconscious mind. You said that ideas could be conveyed to the subconscious mind by repetition, faith and expectancy. Sorry. Could it be true? I decided to try. I had nothing to lose. Welcome to the club. I began to repeat frequently with all the feeling I could muster. Is it monster? Master, master of puppet. Please correct me. What she repeat, repeated was, I am wanted. I am loved. I am happily married to a kind, loving and spiritual minded man. I am secure and fulfilled. Then she goes on and says, I kept on doing this many times a day for about two weeks. Guys, two weeks. Even Neville Goddard said, two weeks. Two weeks of a mental diet, you know, that is gonna manifest everything. We all know that we can have like instant manifestation results, you know. One day at the corner drugstore, I was introduced to a retired pharmacist. Hmm. I found him to be kind, understanding and very religious. He was a perfect answer to my prayers. Within a week, he proposed me. <laughs> Super fast. Now we are on our honeymoon in Europe. I know that the intelligence within my subconscious mind brought both of us together in divine order. I am inspired. Roth discovered that the treasure house was within her. Her prayer was felt as true in her heart. And her affirmation sank down by osmosis into her subconscious mind, which is the creative, crea cre creative medium. The moment she succeeded in bringing about a subjective embodiment, her subconscious mind brought about the answer through the law of attraction. Her deeper mind, full of wis wisdom, and intelligence brought her and her new husband together in divine order. He said, okay, 75 years old woman who knows nothing about the subconscious mind starts to remember the lectures he said and then she decided, okay, you know, I'm not gonna be alone forever like this. Like I have like 30 years of my life. I'm still gonna, you know, go out and live that life. Of course, she said her life was hopeless, you know, but even 25 years old people feel hopeless these days, you know, so we can, we don't have to wait all of our life to manifest whatever the F we want. Often time people say like, Leila, I have this, this and such and such and this happened. Can I manifest this? You know, everything is possible. And this testimony, this feedback that the, the, the old woman, the granny, gave us through Joseph Murphy. It's wonderful. She taught us in two seconds how to use this law. As we all know, circumstances don't matter, don't matter at all. We started to use some affirmations over and over again because the subconscious works with repetition, 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 or you know you want to have more.
just for affirmations. What we can learn from this? We learn that we don't need many affirmations. We don't need a list of 20 plus affirmations to get what we want. It's counterproductive because too many things, like if you manifest something from a list and then you use, you name this list as, for example, my life is perfect. And then if you write down the list how your life is perfect all your conditions and you explain that and you gave that meaning for her i am happily married to a kind loving and spiritual minded man you know she was a little bit specific in what she wanted i am wanted i am loved it's beautiful beautiful i'm using it like every day most of the time it is my favorite self-concept affirmations if you want to manifest something go specific but if you feel resistant, go a little bit more general. Do what your heart feels. Two weeks. Until all the thing manifested, basically. Because from the time she started to use this for two weeks, she didn't see anything, you know? But she kept that persistence, saying that. Many times a day, she said that. The key until everything was fulfilled. Because she said, I am happily married. She had the balls to say that. Be inspired by this granny. This stuff works. I am here to give you that feedback you want because I did that. We can all do it. If a granny can do that, it doesn't matter your age. Even one affirmation and loop that. If you enjoyed this video, then like, share, subscribe, and I'm gonna see you uh, 